If you're having problems with your AT&T UVerse TV remote control, here are some helpful tips for resolving the most common issues. The following troubleshooting tips apply to most UVerse TV remotes, including the S20 and S30 remotes, the S10 remote, the Silver remote, and the Point Anywhere remote. Note that the S20 and S30 remote controls are identical in functionality, except all of the buttons on the S30 model are backlit. Please follow the S20 instructions for the S30 remote. Remember, all tips do not apply to all remotes. Your UVerse TV remote control works with most TVs. If you can't program it to work with your TV, use the remote control that came with your TV to control television functions such as power on off or volume up down. Your UVerse TV remote will control all other UVerse receiver functions such as TV navigation, menu, guide, and apps. First, check that the batteries are in good shape. Press the power button on your remote to see if the menu and guide buttons light up. If they do not light or appear dim, you may need to replace the batteries in your remote. Also, make sure your UVerse TV remote has been programmed to work with the equipment you're trying to control. For help programming your UVerse remote, go to Menu, Help, Remote Control Setup. All UVerse TV remotes can control both your UVerse receiver and your TV at the same time. If your remote has mode buttons on either side of the power button, you can control a DVD or auxiliary equipment by pressing the appropriate mode button first, then pressing the desired function. The AT&T mode button on these remotes allows you to access the functions of your AT&T UVerse TV service. If your remote does not have these mode buttons, it can control your TV and an audio device. The TV mode button on these remotes controls basic TV functions such as power, volume, and mute. The DVD mode button controls basic functions of your DVD player. And the AUX mode button is for auxiliary devices such as your home theater receiver or other home entertainment devices. Check your TV video input. The remote that came with your TV will have separate buttons for each type of video input option or one button, often labeled input, that cycles through all video source options. Your video source must match the type of cable used to connect your UVerse receiver to your TV. For example, HDMI. Note, this can also be checked with your UVerse remote by using buttons labeled TV Video on the S10 series and TV Input on the S20 series. You should also test the cables on the back of your TV, gateway, receiver, and other devices for a snug and secure connection. If you have a wireless, make sure the green link LED on the receiver is lit. You need a clear line of sight. Make sure something isn't obstructing the path between the remote and the equipment you're trying to control. Keep in mind that the remote works at a maximum distance of about 20 feet, so you'll want to stay within that range and be sure to aim your remote directly at the device. The exception to this is the UVerse TV Point Anywhere RF remote. If the previous steps haven't solved your issue, you can also try powering the equipment off, unplugging it from the power outlet, waiting a few minutes, then plugging it back in and turning it back on. If you need further help with your UVerse TV remote control, including replacement, please visit att.com slash UVerse remote. Thank you for choosing AT&T.